In this video, we'll learn how to use some of the basic features of Music ID, a database that tracks music charts and sales data. The easiest way to access Music ID is from the Allen Library homepage. Just scroll to the section called More Music Databases. Music ID is listed in the middle. Just click the link to open it. For now, we'll focus on the main platform, which is Music ID Data. There are also platforms for revenue and impact. They also have helpful information, but are less detailed, so I'll let you explore those on your own. In the data platform, there are two ways to search. I'll start with a keyword search, and for this example, I'll search for Carol G. So I'll just type her name in the search box and click search. In the results list at the bottom, you may see multiple options for the same artist. Go ahead and click all the applicable checkboxes to make sure you're getting all the data. For this example, I'm just going to choose the ones with her solo. Then click Next. Now we see a graph, and below, a table of data. As a default, the top three things in the table are what display in the graph. If you want to change the graph data, check and uncheck the boxes at the left of the table. For example, I might uncheck Unstoppable from the Billboard Top Album Sales, since that's just a little blip on the graph. Now this graph is a little hard to read, so I'm going to highlight just one section from about July 2021 to January 2023. And it will zoom in on just that date range. If you hover over one of the points in the graph, you'll see information for that song and what position it's at in the chart for that day or week. Down in the table, you can sort the order by clicking on the table headings. So if I want to see the albums that made it to the highest position in different charts, I'll click the Peak Position heading. One click sorts it lowest to highest, a second click sorts it highest to lowest. So now I can see that the Carol G album that made it the highest is Mañana Será Bonito in the Billboard Top Album Sales, Billboard 200, and Billboard Top Latin Albums. You can also change what data you're viewing with the options on the left, so you can switch to singles instead of albums, or change the country. By default, it's set to the United States. Now, what if you want to see a specific time in one chart rather than all times and charts for one artist? To do that, we use the date search. To get there, you can go back to the Music ID homepage, or you can start a new search from any page with the search box at the top right. So we'll click the date search tab and then choose our date. For this example, I'll do the 1st of April in 2022. Then I'll choose United States. And for the chart, I'll do Billboard Digital Song Sales. And click Search. So here's the graph. And here's the table. They both function the same as what we used with the keyword search. So we can see that the top three songs in this chart for April 1st, 2022 were Till You Can't, Sweetest Pie, and cold heart. There's a lot more you can do in Music ID, like exporting the data table to save it for later, exporting the graph to use it in a research paper, and much more. For help, ask a librarian. 